break that roof that's on the ground. Okay, now try it. Loosen up your knees. Try it. Start trotting with your seat. Give him a good strong tap of the leg and see if he wants to go down. Now let's get him, let's get him go down in the bridle. Let's get him down. Don't rush. Control the speed with your seat. Yeah, we lost the horse. Good, now you got him back. Now go posting trot. Okay, give him more rain to see if he'll go down. Again, don't let him run. The control of the speed is the speed of your own body. Now you lost the horse, you need to fix the hand and kick him again. Or tap him again, sorry. Loss of words here. Okay, fix the hand and tap him again. Good. Good. And again. Okay. Now when he's like that and over bend, right, give him a little more rain so he can stretch his nose out. Very good. Very good. Okay, good. Okay. Well, that's up to you. You have to realize you're also running on my credit. You know, I put him round, so now you've got to make sure that it gives you a grace period to imitate what I did. Okay. We're going to quit while we are ahead. There you go. Walk, sit, and walk. Good transition. Drop the reins. learning something new because you're going to do that sooner. But that's the bottom line of what you have to do when you sit on the horse. That's, that's the basic. You get on the horse, you round the horse to the bridle, and then you can do whatever that horse can do. Right? right? Now if it's a Grand Prix horse, you can do lots of stuff. If it's an intermediate horse, you can do less stuff, it's a baby, you can do just left and right, but all of them can go round, and all of them need to go round because that's the most effective way of carrying the rider. Yeah. That's the reason those cells are made the way they are, is because they, re they reward the horse for rounding his back, because the surface is big, 
So the more he lifts his back, the, the less pressure he has on his back by the shape of that saddle. Yeah. So eventually, the simple weight of your body on the horse encourages him to lift his back and he's done. But you've got to start it by running him up from the leg, putting the seat in the right place, fixing the hand. You know, you're acting on the cause of roundness, which is the belly, okay? On roundness itself, which is the back, and, uh, and you're preventing the escape, which is the head going up. So sometimes the escape is the most important thing, sometimes the cause is the most important thing, sometimes the running itself is the problem, right? Each person has got a slightly different issue by what is their worst issue, right? Their worst problem. Your problem is not the seat, which is not bad. So I never use my legs. Is that you never use your legs, right? Yeah. And once you've used your leg like this, most people think I don't use my legs because, in effect, I don't use them very often. But when yeah. I use them, the belly of the horse goes right up and stays up. And they know that the next time I'm going to need it, I'm going to do that again, and it stays in as psychologically as well as physically. You know, the tonus of the belly muscle gets going. Okay, my dear. This was good. Let's put him away.